is part of the role of intervention, or can be part of the role of community intervention, and that's precisely what I was referring to before. That sometimes we think of community intervention as just intervening when there is violence to be interrupted at that minute. But there's other functions like that. In my opinion, they need to be driven by community intervention. They have the credibility to bring your son to the table, to have a different kind of conversation with law enforcement. So if law enforcement initiates that, the likelihood might be, could be, that your son may not respond to that. So the role of community intervention is expanding, and I think we need to revisit it in the context of law enforcement. How many different things, what we've seen in the past year, is being community intervention being used during the All-Star game, during parades, during, you know, Skip keeps talking about not calling it gang intervention, but community intervention, and that, that's an appropriate term. We just, we need to come together and figure out how to expand that role. Yes, sir, we're going to run out of time real quick. Any of them we're going to run out of time. Just, just from the 77 point I came to answer your question. I recognize that our, all our, our youth programs are geared toward younger kids. So uh, in the past two years, I've made partnerships with Southwest College uh, and West LA College, and I meet with them monthly. Uh, they're invited to come and volunteer at the station. We go out to the campuses and talk to the young kids there. Uh, some of the things we're trying to do is, my officers are about the same age, Xbox tournament against them, against my officers, those kind of things. Harvard Park doesn't have an intervention per se. Uh, we went in there last year, did an Easter event, we played softball against them. Uh, gang members against officers had a great day. You know, and that breaks that barrier down. It kind of breaks <coughs> their uh, belief that the officer role was bad down. Uh, but I recognize that, and those are some of the activities that we're doing to push in that direction. That's, that's uh, great in 77. Um, Commander, Chief, is there anything girl-wide, South girl-wide, that's going on similar? Because I know we have great captains in Southwest, but I don't know if any of that is going on. What about Harvard? And her son is actually Southeast Division, so is there something similar? Well, I, I know that um, I, don't, I don't have a, a, a program that's geared for that, for that group that I can think of right on top of my my head. I, I think that is an important group to target, though I, I do agree with uh, Daryl that um, I would rather be a partner. I'd, I think I'm better off getting to your son through some other way. And then our officers come in, develop a relationship, they begin to talk. It's, 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 um, it's, it's much easier to hate each other or not like each other when you don't know each other and you don't talk to each other. Once you sit down and you talk to each other, then that's when that, that relationship develops. It should be our responsibility to get more of our officers out to those kind of, um, uh, whether it's a church or whether it's in some other teen club or some, some other place where, where kids gather to increase our, um, or improve our relationship. You want to say something? I'm sure, Clark. You know, there's so much potential for intervention. We took a group of interventionists, and I think P, you were part of this, and we took a group of gang sergeants in, in uh, 77, we put them together in the room, we had a facilitated con uh, conversation about the change in paradigm, what it's like to be a young black man growing up in L.A. versus what, it, what it's like being a gang cop in L.A. The exchange of information was unbelievable because they're all human beings at the end. And so that's what we need is that interaction to get everybody to understand the perspective of, of the individuals. I agree. See, me, right quick, we don't need to, uh, when you say revisit, we don't need to revisit, we need to look at the history the legacy of what's been going on, and we need to apply that. We just need to apply it. We don't really need to revisit a lot of stuff here. And just off the record, for you people, especially in that division, 77, another person got killed on 49th in between Rand and Flower, and those people in that neighborhood we were talking about, they kind of spooked. They saying like, they feeling, you know, some of them feel like, you know, with this retaliation because we, you know, been talking about this subject that we're talking about now. And my contribution I want to bring to this table, I don't want to keep on burning my gas, wasting time about this. I know this stuff will work. You know, I know this stuff will work, but we got to bring some stuff to the table that's already happened. A lot of these people around here, the questions they ask, these questions have been answered. When they used to have a capital, the same guy you introduced me to, when they used to have a police involved shooting, they used to put it on the wire for him. If it, this police whole profile, has he been involved in any shooting before? So let's go back and get some of that legacy, and this will make the work easier for everybody. I promise you. I, 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 I hold myself accountable to that.
Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Adela, what's next?